Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's a Mangrove Jacks Kvayak IPA, and we're here to talk about it. It's one of the Mangrove Jacks Kitten Kilo Pouch in a Pouch kits that that's the bit they'll cut out to put on the barrel and the fermenter or the fermenter in the barrel. I'm not, you may have already noticed that I'm not overly a fan of these kits because you don't really know where the malt extract is and where the hops and other stuff are and yeast, importantly, the yeast. And you stick it in hot water without taking the yeast out and kill the yeast. It's like... I did make a note, very superficial, non-label side, useless. Which was the non-label side? Was the malt extract in the non-label side, or was the yeast in the non-label side on the instructions? I don't know. I'll try harder next time. But, I'm fairly sure that it's not been consistent, because a pouch is a pouch, I'm sure they just fill them up, comes off the assembly line, bangs into somewhere else, and the label gets stuck on, whichever side gets face up. I might be wrong, there might be a bit more quality control than that. Let's give you a quick look at the label. So, approximate ABV of 5.5% with based on use with dextrose. Makes 23 litres. You need extras of either pure liquid malt extract, beer enhancer 2, or dextrose stroke brew enhancer, or standard table sugar. I use standard table sugar. Ingredients, liquid malt extract, barley in brackets, and boldish. Dried hops, hop extract, dried yeast, yeast emulsifier, sorbitum, monosterate. Monosterate. No, it's monosterate, I think. Whatever. Sorbitum something or other. Allergen declaration for allergens, see, including cereals containing gluten, see ingredients in bold. That's barley. Yeast is a M slash 2 Kvayak yeast. Hops are Amarillo and Citra of 50 grams. Bitterness rating 4 out of 5. Bitterness IBU 48 to 56. Colour vibrant gold. Most of that is quite meaningless to me because I tend not to go into it that much. All this bittering. So, what comes in the pouch? You have the Kvayak IPA hop of 50 grams, which was Amarillo and Citra. Don't know how much of each. Perhaps 25 grams of each. Don't know. Still smells a bit hoppy in there. You also get two. Uh, packets. Can't see. And they put on quite. quite oh, there. 10 grams. So 20 grams of Kivai yeast. Didn't use it. I used or reused my SO4 as usual. You also get some instructions, didn't use them. And that's about it. You've got the pouch, pouchy thing in a pouchy thing. Clean. It was 
pre hot malt extract in there. Figures. I only used 500 grams of standard table sugar. Starting gravity was quite promising at 1.048 at 18 degrees C. Finishing gravity was 1.016 at 20 degrees C, which gave a quite good ABV, I like it, of approximately 4.347826% ABV by volume. ABV by volume? No, alcohol by volume. ABV is alcohol by volume. Yeah, ABV by volume. You do, you're doing it twice. Stupidity. That's me. Stupidity. Cost of the kit, stop waffling, was £23.95. Plus, half a bag of sugar is about 32 and a half pence. Call it 32. 23 and a half pounds, roughly. It's not, not even, it's 20, it's less than, less than, less than. Work it out yourself, can't be bothered. It's too late at night. And a dry hot to 50 grams for two days. Yes, two days. So, let's have a look at it. Did it say light gold or something like that? Not put the light on. Maybe it was too dark. Give you a flash with the torch. You can possibly see, and this is a non-nucleated glass, some carbon dioxide bubbles going up. So, it is carbonated. It's from the barrel as usual. Crystal clear. A nice light gold colour can't bother getting the packet again you can force a head onto it probably could get a good head if you had a hand pump I haven't got a hand pump but it doesn't hold the head possibly because I haven't got a hand pump so it's, the bubbles are too big holds at best a cap at least a ring just produce some lacing on the glass let's give it a sniff you're getting citrus notes on there straight away there's like a Bit of a pineapple note, I think, but a mainly sort of orangey, lemony sort of probably orange. Whack it in the laughing tackle and give it a taste. There's a little bit front sweetness a little bit but it's quickly masked by a bitter citrusy pithy taste so it's not a clean orangey citrus taste it's a bitter pithy taste like, like as if you were Biting into the orange skin. That sort of taste. And it, the citrusiness dies off. Don't think I detect any sort of maltiness. No, it's all this. The pithiness does die off a little bit and you get an, an orange citrusy flavour coming through but then it dies, the, the citrus flavour dies off and you get 
not quite a harsh bitterness, but a, a, a large bitterness, a big, uh, uh, yeah, a heavy, heavy bitter flavour. And that lasts and slowly dies off. quite a while still got that bittering going on that's not bad the pithiness up front and the citrusiness is a bit that I don't really like I'm not keen I like the bitterness that it dies off into but I'm not keen on the citrusy pithiness to begin with not bad not entirely to my taste as I say I don't like that up front citrusy pithy flavor but it does die off into a a more gentle citrus flavor and then a qu quite heavy bittering flavor towards back end what about you again no not really not a favorite it's a nice beer and mouthfeel wise I forgot the mouthfeel I would say a solid medium no real real wateriness but there's no maltiness it's all hoppiness so a little bit unbalanced a bit too hoppy not enough malt not a bad beer what about again no right like comment and subscribe see you next time cheers bye